do other things around town. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, invisibility 5e uh, pick up. What's that? Give me. Does picking up an item uh, yeah, it looks it's like, like it's just the, the British legal system. Um, yeah, I mean, no, I'm gonna say anything you can manage to, like, hide under something of yours that is invisible, so, like, you, anything you put in your I'm gonna pack put it under invisible. my shirt. Yeah, okay, do yeah. I have <laughs> just, Uh, I mean, you've got a pack, but it's pretty full. I mean, you've been traveling. Okay, um, yeah, so... I'm gonna just put it under my shirt. Yeah, uh, as best you can. You've got this big pillowcase full of, like, full of stuff, and you kind of put it... It's yeah. kind of sticking out in a few spots, but it's mostly obscured. Uh, and Great. can only really be seen from certain angles of you. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so yeah, you uh, go through. Nothing seems to be there to stop you. Alright, I'm just gonna leave. Um, yeah. And get out to go the gate. The window or door? Front door. Uh, I'll go through the window just to be safe. Okay, make a dexterity check. And I get plus one on dex, right? Yeah. 14. Yeah, you managed to. It's it's awkward. Uh, if you weren't invisible, <laughs> what isn't? It would. It, you're sure it would look very strange. <laughs> um, trying to get out there while keeping this thing under your shirt while making sure nothing spills out of it. And, but you manage, and you kind of. Yeah. Well, uh, I figure I like I put my hand through the top of my shirt and grab the end of the pillowcase, and I can hold it like this through my shirt. Yeah, but doing that while climbing out of a window is yeah, cumbersome at best. Um, but you, but you manage, and uh, okay. before too the situations long, we find ourselves in. This before, is great. Before too long, you do uh, uh, make your way back up to the gate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's time. It's time. What? What uh -huh. did I say? <laughs> I've got the gold. I can't climb. Mm -hmm. If this were Azriel, she would know the code word. <laughs> monkey slut. What's the code word? It's monkey slut, obviously. <laughs> right, um, it's always monkey slut. <laughs> so, uh, I kind of reach my hand through, indicating, like, pass me the stuff. Yeah, you okay, so I, pass, I, I awkwardly get off the bag of pillowcase and I pass it to sure, Stellan. Sure, the gate. It, it doesn't fit. God damn it. Okay, hold on. I'm looking at, I'm going to look at Acid Splash. I'm so frustrated right now. <laughs> Would that even work? Hurl a bubble of acid. Uh, or, you can use knock again to just open the gate. Oh, I'll just do that. Yeah, you can cast knock. I gate didn't opens. do that earlier. <laughs> I had a climb. Well, we want to be, we want to be, you know, we didn't know that she wasn't there, so... Okay, and then I'm gonna get out and be like, let let's go, let's go now. Leave Bartleby. We have to go. Well, there's no need to leave Bartleby. We could take him again. Okay, let's take Bartleby. <laughs> Pick up Bartleby. Okay. So, yeah, I carry Bartleby. I, I, I take invisibility. Hmm. You want to stop? You want me to stop being invisible? Let's just go. Like we should get out of here. Yeah, but we're super conspicuous if we're carrying around like a whole. Why don't I'm gonna? Oh stay... well, I can cast minor illusion on the bag. That's true. Or I could just stay as an old woman and like just be like carrying like a a, a sack. sack. Yeah. Okay. Does it, does it look super obviously like it's a sack full of stolen shit? Like. Um. I mean, the town is under siege. Who cares? I'm a little anxious about this. Uh, you know. Mystique. Vigilante, this Vigilante. <laughs> um, I mean, as you guys are, are, I mean, it could just look like someone getting ready to leave town. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. That. Yeah. So, yeah, Ooh. as you. So, I take the invisibility off of Azria, um, and then I instruct Azria to, like, look like she's my helping, yeah, you're helping yeah. me come on grandmama we have to get out uh, before the orcs come you are <laughs> you are keeping track of yeah. your spell slots right huh you've done two disguise selves two invisibilities. no i've only done one 
Oh, right. Done... So one disguise. So, oh, oh, so you're, so Azri is just looking like, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. I'm just me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm the same, the same old lady as before. <clears throat> uh, I've done one disguise self, two invisibilities. Um, as, as you're, uh, coming out and you're making your way back to town, uh, where, what direction are you guys heading? Uh, uh, let's head back. No, we can't really go back to the castle. No. Um, I would say, are we anywhere near that inn that we went to that first night? Um, no. I mean, it's it's across town, but maybe just an inn. We really just need yeah, a place to, like keep our stuff. Sure. Yeah. Um, you're pretty sure you saw one. Or a safety deposit box. Is there a bank in town we can go to? Uh, not so much. Not that you know of, anyway. Um, Should just brought that safe. Um. <laughs> um, so as you're uh, as you're going back, um, you do hear uh, you do hear from behind and slightly above you, uh, citizens. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what? what is it? It's oh. everything. Everything's okay, Grandma. It's just a voice from the sky, what? I guess. What's going on? <laughs> There's no need to be afraid. I, um, uh, uh, it's like, would you like an, would you like an escort to your destination? The roads are dangerous right now. <laughs> this, uh, this is, this is the mystique. We were planning to leave town. How are we going to leave if the roads are dangerous? <laughs> um, it might be more wise to find shelter for the time being. Well, our home is 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 is, is so close to the walls. We we didn't want to go be someplace with a fighting. Perhaps we should just find an inn. <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> with advantage. <laughs> I love this. I love the mystique. I'm so <laughs> glad. Um, okay. Yeah, no, you do this, and she, uh, uh, she's like, um, the nearest inn would be, and she gives you like a few blocks directions. Okay. Uh, we'd love an escort, right? I mean, not taking oh, an escort would be suspicious. I don't want you to endanger yourself. <laughs> don't worry. I'll be watching from the shadows. He disappears. Thank you. Uh, Asriya shouts, "Who are you, mysterious hero?" <laughs> and he's, you, you do, you catch a blur jump from one roof over to the next. Okay, Asriya's like, "Okay, I guess we're doing this now." Yo, let's go. <laughs> he is the hero this city deserves. <laughs> yeah, cram, cram up, please, cram. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get to an inn. <laughs> I need to rest my feet and maybe have a soft bath. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah, you guys, uh, after a little bit, managed to, <laughs> to get to the inn. There are a few dead orcs in front of the inn. Um, <laughs> this looks unpleasant. Your guys' call if you want to go in or. I mean, we're going in. Yeah. Huh? Is there anything in their pockets? <laughs> well, I think the mystique is too much. The, the, the old lady goes in and starts <laughs> looking <laughs> through Let's the pockets. See if we know who these kind young dead men are, we can alert their family. Um... <laughs> <laughs> My vision's not what it was. They seem to be rather ill. <laughs> died of some sort of illness. <laughs> Grandma, please. Um, they they have decent swords. Um, beyond that, I mean, like decent swords and some leather armor and stuff. It's not like anything super fancy. And for the most part, you what you guys have is better suited to your needs. But the swords might be worth something. Not like we a should lot take these swords if they're just left lying out, then someone could injure themselves. <laughs> well, we do need, we might need protection. The city is so dangerous, and we can't expect our mysterious hero to hang around us all the time. There's so many innocent citizens that need attention. 
So we should arm ourselves. We'll definitely return them if we hear that anyone is missing one. Yeah. Um, okay, we're gonna take a, a sword, a piece. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> cool. You guys. Uh, I'll carry that for you, Grandma. You shouldn't. You know your back and your arthritis. You, you should. No. Carry yes. that. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> um. <laughs> you guys go in the go into the inn then. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. go. Yeah, you go in the inn. Um, nobody seems to be there. There does seem to be a sign on the bar. Um, that, uh, that just kind of says, um, uh, out for the day, if you need refuge, stay in uh, one of the rooms, um, anything worth anything is locked up. Cool. Let's go stay in a room. Yeah. And look for a hiding place. For yeah. Stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna roll perception. Uh, are you That's... looking for a hiding place in the room, or are you looking just around the inn? Oh, I, I was know. thinking around the inn. I'm. I would be looking in the room, okay. but but you well, can let's... look in, around the inn. That's fine. Well, I rolled a sixteen, so let's see the room then. It'd be sixteen plus your intelligence modifier. Hmm. This be investigation. Um, I mean. Oh, should I do the same? Yeah, go ahead. I don't know what my intel. I think it's plus three. Uh, so I rolled a twenty then. In that case, that's a trump. Well, I rolled a sixteen plus four is twenty. So. Okay, so um, <clears throat> me as well. Uh, looking around. Um, I mean, it occurs to you if the innkeep is not there. Um, then there. I mean, the, then like looking around, you're just like, okay, well, we could hide stuff in their office we could hide stuff uh on their bar you don't know where where exactly where looters would look or if looters would be dissuaded by the everything worth anything's locked up bit um you also um <clears throat> uh stellan you look around and you find a couple decent hiding places in the room uh but it, after a little bit you kind of do kind of go start checking floorboards to see if anything kind of yeah. comes up um and you uh do find something pretty ideally located under the leg of uh the bed um for being able to like maybe put something under there uh and okay. um uh there are kind of rafters everywhere if you wanted to try and hide something yeah. uh um just to to add uh as the zero. Uh, that zero? That's, that's why, is, why is my brain blocking that? Yeah, the zero. Uh, um, it should be Azria. Azria. I think it's just. Uh, it's Azria. Azria. That's... But I'll go by both, probably. Uh, well, what we should do is we should definitely divide up the money so it's not all in one big thing. Yeah. Let's take, let's just take some time and like look at what we have. Okay. I want to, yeah, let's investigate what we have. Hmm. Uh, so do we, we count the money? I want to look at the papers. Yeah, uh, the papers appear to mostly be research. Um, a lot of kind of technical stuff, some arcane stuff. Uh, doesn't mean a lot, like a ton to you, Stellan. You're you're roughly familiar with some arcane stuff, but this is. So should I? Should I? I should do a skills roll for it. I mean, yeah, sure. This is just like weirdly specific realm of arcane, in, uh, like study. Um, <clears throat> uh, you can't make any. Yeah, I can't make can't anything make any of it. real sense of it. Um, <laughs> looking around, or, I mean, like, so you, like, thumb through the papers and you, uh, um, uh, do you guys want to count the gold or do you want to, like, Let's just count kind of, the gold, yeah? Just kind of I want to know how much gold here. By eye. Uh, okay, so. I'm going to count it first and then we'll just, we'll divvy it up into, like, 10 different groups and we'll find little hidey holes for, we'll carry some. We'll hide others. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it looks like. Alright, so uh you've got three plus three five is gonna be seventy. That's gonna be uh um this comes out to around 10,500 gold. 
Jesus. Yeah. Um. Awesome. Uh. Okay, so uh, that's like a thousand fifty gold in each hiding place. I would say more than ten now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeez, <laughs> that's, a lot. that's great. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Um, we could retire. We could just buy a little house hey. and like set up a necromancy shop in town and be like wizards for hire. <laughs> well, that sounds lovely, doesn't it? We could we could join up with the Thieves Guild. We could have a career. Ooh, we could join up with the Thieves Guild. Nice. That sounds good. Hmm. Well, let's sleep on it, maybe. Yeah, but not on top of it because it's all gold and it's uncomfortable. So tempting, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like, oh, Clint, do you want to just like maybe like, roll around in it a little bit, like kind of an American Beauty moment? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those times when we reference a thing that doesn't exist, but somehow we both know what we're talking about. Uh, so, carry about a tenth a piece on us, which is a lot of money to be carrying, but... Yeah, so that's a thousand gold a piece on us. I would like to, like, secret some way, like, tuck it into, like, hems and things like that, yeah. rather than yeah. having it all, like, in my pack. Um, you feel notably heavier. I mean, like, like I mean, you know, when you were carrying the this thing was really heavy and straining you when you were carrying the pillowcase. Um, also, at this point, you probably do notice pillowcase didn't come out undamaged from this trip. It's... We could keep some of it in Butler Cat. Ooh. <laughs> Part of the onion. At this point, you do notice there is like a small box on Butler Cat's back. I mean, you noticed this uh, from get the, but there is like a small box that you're not sure entirely what its purpose is. Hmm. I want to investigate. Okay, roll up, roll Arcana. Trying. There we go. Hey. Um, you look at this. This the, what this seems to be what is animating Butler Cat, and you okay. don't know enough about <laughs> it. it that you might be like, mm, maybe best not mess with this. Yeah. Okay, so I turn to Stella and it's like, don't touch this bat box. Possibly it'll kill Bartleby, Bartleby if we mess with it. So. That's not, then. That's not. All right, so. Okay, we... so then I ask, like, what were some other hidey holes that you found where we might put this? Yeah. Uh, or, or what would be best would be if we kept, like, maybe 4,000 handy. And okay. then buried the rest yes we re like we don't need more than that no, no. i think eventually we should get a bank though yeah definitely eventually yeah. but not maybe not while the town is under siege no no no. later after post siege post siege bank and for now. then we there should is. maybe find chloe then she's probably gonna want to know since the whole yeah. thieves guild thing was a bust we'll hide the money bury the rest of it keep butler cat in here somehow mm -hmm. and then go find chloe okay I, can i give butler cat orders i know that loyalty wasn't really programmed in but butler cat can take orders right you're welcome to try oh <laughs> okay <laughs> um <laughs> damn i don't know what to do I, we want to be specific it's like with a genie um well, I could just say, Butler Cat, Cat, don't let anybody who isn't, or but Bartleby, don't let me or Stellan, anybody who isn't me or Stellan, come near the gold. <laughs> we don't even know if Butler Cat's going to stay here. My concern yeah. is that Butler Cat's going to start going back to the house. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, we should, okay, we should just keep Butler Cat on our person, maybe, or... No, we can't, because we can't let Chloe see. Okay. So I'd say just, like, get her, like, a little leash. <laughs> like, can we fashion a little leash for Butler Cat? Can we fashion a leash for Butler Cat? You guys will have some rope in your traveler's kit, so yeah, yeah you could you could throw something yeah, like a, easily. A nice long leash. Mm -hmm. You know, it's got plenty of room to 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 walk around the room. Okay, do that. Like nicely fastened to to something. <clears throat> yeah, it's a. I mean, you could do the bed post, or you could do. Uh, yeah. I mean, whatever. 
Um, yeah, bed post just seems easiest. Okay, and then uh, we put a few uh, gold things under the floorboard under the bed. We mm -hmm. put a few more in the rafters. Um, we carry some and have it in our clothes. And then are we ready? Are we okay to bury the rest? I think I'm ready, yes. Okay. Um, hide gold, bury gold. And then let's go see if we can find Chloe, right? Yeah. We have no no way of knowing at all where she is or what's going on. We'll probably stumble into something totally different first, but let's 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 do this. Well, I mean, if we stumble into the Thieves Guild, problem solved, right? But we should at least just wander the town trying to find Chloe. <laughs> Sounds good. Do you still look like an old lady? I don't know how long does that last. Uh, an hour. Um. So probably not. Yeah, we probably be fading off about now. Okay. Then I'll just go out as myself, but I'm still trying to be a little incognito because yeah, I'm still worried about the It's night. getting to be kind of mid to late afternoon. Um, this, this has been an all-day excursion. Yeah, well, we had to go back and forth on a couple of things. Yeah. <laughs> Worth it, though, financially. Yo, I mean, yeah, no, for, for a day's work. Yep. The best part is that when Ruby gets home like the safe will be shut again and as far as she and tessa know the money is in there so she will fight to get that safe open and then she will open it and there will be nothing there yeah god knows joey is not gonna open it again so. um i mean the the she will also it will also probably not go unnoticed that she is missing a pillowcase oh yeah and probably well, I mean, the biggest thing butler being cat. that butler cat's gone but right. the cat stole it. <laughs> I'm running away. <laughs> it's gonna start a life somewhere. I mean, they don't know that Butler Cat wouldn't do that because Jolie didn't like program it. She bound a spirit to it. A completely autonomous entity is bound <laughs> to a stuffed animal. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go out into the town. Um. Um, Definitely keeping an eye out for thieves. Uh, and dragonborn. Yeah. Go ahead and roll perception. Hey. What's my perception bonus again? Yeah, unfortunately, you get minus three to that, don't you, Charlie? Yeah, but it's still pretty. Like, it's the highest one I've rolled yet. Yeah. So, and it's two 19s in a row. I mean, what are the odds? Uh, you're, you've got plus nine to your perception. Yeah, that's, okay, so yeah, um, you guys look around, uh, um, and, uh, as you're kind of going around, uh, um, like, uh, Azria, you notice some, like, pretty subtle, like, markings on one of the walls. And you look at it, and you're like, that's Thieves Can't. Like, that's the thing that Chloe was talking about. That's like the, the little marking system or whatever. You don't know what it means, but you see it. And it's right there. And, uh, Stellan. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, as Azria kind of stops and starts looking at a spot on the wall, you glance over and you see the Thieves Can't. You also glance over and you see some like figures starting to move in around you guys. Uh, <laughs> um, there appears to be you spot one up the road from you, one coming up from behind you guys, and one see thinking it's hidden in an alley to the side. Okay. Um well, I will say hello. Uh, Asria hears this and turns around to see who Stellan is saying hello to. Um, Looks like we've got some friends. <clears throat> Hi. Uh, one of the people comes up and looks at you guys and is like, well, that depends on what you're carrying, doesn't it? Kind of. We are carrying, and then I pull out the letter from Chloe, a message, potentially for you, kind of, not to make any assumptions, but. 
Um, Should I start no, We know that it's your cats here. We, we don't know what they mean. Uh, and yet, if they're yours, then you are exactly who we're looking for. Yep. Kind of stops and looks at you, looks at, like, kind of signals to the others. Um, and looks up at you, he's like, Show me your arm. I hold my arm up. Yeah, I also hold my arm up. Kind of is like, well, you're not one of us. Pulls, not yet. Pulls his Good sleeve sir. down, holds up. He's got a crow tattoo. On his cool. Arm. That looks really cool. <laughs> uh, Astria says that. <clears throat> kind of it's, it's sizing you guys up. He's like, walks up slowly, and comes and takes the letter, flips it open, takes a look. What do you think? Um, I think we're awesome, is what I think. Uh, completely ignoring you. Uh, okay. One of the the one from behind you kind of closes in and looks up and this is a uh tiefling male um who kind of reads you guys sizing you up and down is like that'd be good takes the letter looks at it closes it up hands it back to stellan uh Okay, come with us. And uh, <laughs> walking away. Uh, are we in danger? <laughs> do, do you ask them this? I'm scared. I'm scared to ask them anything. I'll ask them. Uh, yeah. Where are we going? Uh, Some place we can talk. Kind of gestures at the gestures to you. He's like, it's what you guys wanted, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Sure. That is the right. thing we wanted. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's go. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, the one. What's your yeah. name? <sighs> what is, I'm trying to remember his. <laughs> I'm Azria Ramazi. This is my husband, Stellan Ramazi. Nice to meet you. Oh, my computer's not working. I remember his first name is Matthew. So. Name's Matthew. Kind of. Just Matthew? Did you go by Matthew? Matt? Or... <laughs> he introduced himself as Matthew. We can assume he goes by Matthew. Okay, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> I, don't need, I don't need this from you right now. Um, we not, can we not in front of our new friends? <laughs> so I'm just like, frustrated. It's been a long day. I'm frustrated. Uh, as they're going <laughs> by, um, you guys cut, cut, cut through an alley and you see there are a couple piles of stuff that have been dumped out on the ground. He just kind of annoyedly waves to the guy behind you guys, just pick those up. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you gather the superhero has been busy, but has not necessarily had time to secure every pile of things. <laughs> that has been dumped out in the middle of the ground. Um, she should put together a group of friends, sort of a league for justice. <laughs> yes, that would be amazing. Um, <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> as you guys kind of uh, you keep going and kind of eventually turns into another alley and uh, goes up to a door and does like a knocking pattern and then just kind of pushes the door open. Um, and uh, as he kind of goes in, there's quite a few more people in here uh, rummaging through just stuff that they've kind of gathered here. Uh, he gestures to the guys behind you to kind of go take care of their stuff um, and uh, kind of moves on down the hallway to a kind of more private room and opens the door. It looks like a kind of kind of makeshift office 
uh, goes in, sits down, gestures to a couple chairs. Um, close the door behind you, please. Okay. We close the door, and I take a seat. Yep. Uh... I do too. Okay. So what information are you after? Well, uh, there was a really unfortunate attack, uh, and, and, and multiple sort of potential threats against Lord Amelia's life. And Chloe wanted us to, uh, find out who's responsible. And we have reason to believe that a drow is, is, is behind this, uh, and and the drow who best fits the description of the drow we're looking for uh, is the most recent uh, inquisitor. Uh, inquisitor. That's right. Thank you, darling. You're uh, welcome, darling. And so we are we are on hot on her trail. Uh, and why did we come to the peace pavilion? We wanted to know if you could help us find her. Yes. Also, yes. if you have any information on anyone oh, yeah. who might be assisting her, or who might also be a drow. And we're also interested in if you have any information as to what's going on and who With is attacking the city and the castle. There's just a bunch of mysteries. There's a right lot now. of information. And we assume that you guys uh, had might have some insight. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. nods slowly. Well, any attempt on the Lord's life's news to us. Um... I know this drow you're talking about. Kind of a bitch. Uh, oh, well, I, I don't... I'm sorry, I don't like that word. Oh, uh, he doesn't seem to care. Um, uh, you, you also, if you want to roll insight, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Azria, you, you get the impression he may have been personally slighted by... No. Okay. Um, <clears throat> um, Doesn't make the word any better, but. Uh, kind of hesitantly nods. Is like, uh, there's a. When we crossed paths with her, there was, um, talking about her friends, there's a half orc who took out several of my men. There's a. Um, I mean, he thinks he's like a little kid. He's a halfling. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we heard about her from the tournament. Yeah. Uh, one of your metallic dragonborns, I don't know. Um, and then. Uh, your face. <laughs> thinks he's like. Um, <laughs> Uh, as in, uh, no, he didn't see Ruby. So I'm trying to think who else he saw. Um, <clears throat> so this metallic dragonborn is definitely a friend of hers. They definitely work together. <laughs> He's like, I spent most of the day yesterday in lockup till one of our bosses came and got me out because of them. They were working together well enough for that. Huh. Uh. 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 Um, <laughs> thinks about it. It's like, I mean, we think they're working with that. Whatever she is. Fancies herself a superhero of some sort. Oh, hold on! We met her! <laughs> she, um... Well, we were in disguise at the time, so she just took us for citizens and let us go, but uh, what is up with that? She seems kind of crazy. Super crazy. Yeah, super she seems really crazy. just completely... Is that her superhero name? Super crazy? She better just hope that none of us get hold of her, especially our boss. Mm. Um... And kind of, uh, and, and kind of stops for a second. It's like any information towards catching her is going to be worth quite a bit. So mm. keep that. Keep in that in mind. mind. Yeah. Well, we will. Mm -hmm. 
do. <laughs> um, then uh, he kind of uh, thinks a bit more. He's like, uh, I mean, he kind of looks at you guys like, as far as what's outside the gate, we had some information that maybe a few bandit clans or whatnot were planned in something, but we didn't know anything would be this big. There are a lot more of them than we thought. Bandit uh, clans? Hmm. Bandit clans, Jesus. Um, he kind of shrugs and like, um, stuff going on in the castle is news to me. Wonder if this could be related at all with the bandit. Azri is thinking out loud. With the bandit clans attacking at the same time that Lord Amelia's life comes under threat, it just seems too coincidental. It does seem coincidental. And hadn't we heard that there was also some kind of mental manipulation going on at the tournament? Mm hmm. So perhaps whatever's happening was meant to happen in the wake of the tournament or maybe it's not related at all i'm not uh, don't be ridiculous my thinking. <laughs> um just hmm. a, a busy city in which lots of things happen like that movie crash it's like the movie crash <laughs> yes darling i'm familiar with that play we both saw it <laughs> we saw it together i think when we were on the road <laughs> Quite a performance. Yeah, was exceptional. <laughs> I thought I thought the use of puppets was excellent. So good. Um. Okay. Uh. Next line of questioning, sir. Just out of curiosity. Just just out of curiosity. Do you have any openings in your guild? He kind of looks at you a little surprised. He's like, um. I mean, yeah, we're always accepting new members if they're skilled enough. Well, my husband and I, very skilled, by the way. Just well, 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 we would need to know a little bit more. And really, we don't need to necessarily join in order to mutually benefit one another. Yeah, we're just thinking of staying in town. We like it here, despite the siege and murder. But right. we like it here, and we were thinking of staying, but we can't necessarily stay and do the work we've we've been doing exactly. We would have no. to make some changes. Yes, that, that. Is, a, that is a hit it and quit it kind of work. Yeah, so we want something more hit it and stay it. He nods and is like, well, careful with any work you're doing around here without being a member of the Crows. Sure, sure, yes, definitely. We would definitely never do just straight thievery without... No, we're more of a indirect... The local authorities. Did <laughs> I roll a deception check? Go ahead and roll a deception check. <laughs> I'm trying to also hint to Azria, like, don't mention that we just... <laughs> Boom. I That's will not. I'm just saying we're thinking about staying. There could be any number of reasons for that. He nods. <sighs> he nods. I uh, mean, he says. <laughs> well, um. But, but what we would like to do, can you tell him about like the nature of our work? He can. Okay, so I, I, I give him a big old song and dance spiel about what we like to do, and then say something like, we could always set up a shop that is partially based off of what Azria can really do, partially augmented by sort of the, the myth, you know, that we've, we've built around it, um, offering these kinds of services and fortune telling and medium kind of stuff, and uh, maybe little, you know, amulets and talismans and things like that. And... Uh, uh, we want to set up that shop, and we can pay dues to you uh, as if we're members and give you any kind of information that you want. You guys can uh, see us as, as allies and a resource. Um, and, we also and, want to work very closely with Chloe Vale. We like Yes, we, we love her. She's great. 
lovely. I imagine she'll help expand our our our, our client base if she's at all interested. Um, Azria wants to be her best friend, so <laughs> Azria is like really enthusiastic about this. <laughs> and then, and, and uh, that's 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 our that's our hope. We would then just hope that you guys would be friends of ours as well. A persuasion mm -hmm. check. Uh, I've got a big I've old been, persuasion been, bonus. Well, I've been backing. Oh well, so forget. I've got a big old persuasion bonus. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, it might matter. <laughs> well, I was just gonna say that I was backing her up while she was saying that. I interjected, so would. Could she roll it? Yeah. Um. Mm, you guys were kind of singing the same tune. Uh, you weren't like strengthening the case. You were just kind oh. of both being charismatic. Um, okay. <clears throat> but uh, he kind of seems to not. Thirteen's not low. The the two is low, but thirteen's not low. Um, kind of nods slowly. If it was natural one, you'd have been in trouble. <laughs> kind of nods slowly, and is like. Uh, kind of gestures. To be honest, we're a bit busy at the moment. Mm -hmm. But, um, is the city still standing in a few days? Uh, we'll have probably picked up and moved from here, but, um, if you're friends of Chloe Vale, you should be able to get in touch with us and we'll set something up. Go ahead. You guys are welcome to roll insight if you'd like. Sure. Is insight wisdom? Yes. Then. Um, he doesn't. He doesn't really seem to care that much. Okay. Like, he's he's mostly just kind of, whatever. I've kind of got other things to do. Okay. Um, uh, and then, like, as he kind of finishes that, he stands up and he's like, if. Uh, you don't have any other questions? Nope, nope, that's good. We're good. That's great. Mm hmm Good. Oh, but if you have any information, like if any information comes up about this trying to kill Amelia Vale or a drow with mind control powers, we would really appreciate being informed on that. Yeah. We'll keep it in mind. Thanks. Appreciate that. We appreciate that. Lovely. <clears throat> just kind of gestures for you guys to leave. <laughs> right, let's let's go, darling. <laughs> um, I think that went well. I think that went really well. Yeah, it went over real nice. I uh, not entirely sure that the whole uh, we haven't stolen anything yet. We definitely would report it. Lie went over to be honest, <gasps> with you, but. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> if only, if only that, if only an insight check had been a little higher, maybe <laughs> only. We'd, we'd know. We'd have more certain idea of where Seriously. we stand. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I know you guys uh, are kind of. We should accept that out. whenever I roll an insight check, it's not going to go well. Probably not. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys are directed outside and. You are in. You are now outside this place in this little alley. Um, go ahead and roll intelligence real quick. Okay. okay. Ooh. Azria. It suddenly occurs to you you don't remember how you guys like you remember how you got here like, but you don't remember what path you took to get here. And you have no Damn. idea where you are in the city. Um, a 12 isn't that bad. I don't know. You're not like... You could find your way back to like a, like a, a bigger road. Okay. <laughs> you're, 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 but you don't... Like if going to a specific spot, you've been kind of turned around. Uh, Stellan, on the other hand, you're, you're good. You, you remember where we are. Awesome. So I take Adria's arm and immediately start like very like speed walking out okay. not fast enough to look suspicious just jaunty pace well i imagine everybody's running around during a siege that's true yeah so quickly quickly very quickly um well? yeah continue 
what do we do now? <laughs> I mean, I feel like we're being pursued. So. Oh, really? Yeah. I'd like to go to the castle. Okay, well, I'm going to follow you. What Do we know, do we remember how we got out from the castle? The, like, secret passage? Um, you may be able to find the general area. Um, you do remember the spot you actually came out was kind of a, like a wall? Like a, like a hidden door in a wall? Um, and you know it closed behind you guys. Uh, so finding it might be a bit difficult. Um, yeah, basically I just don't want to go straight back from the thieves to our inn where we have our money. No, no, no. Um, I don't want to go there either. I, think I would we much have... rather like undergird the whole narrative that we are friends with Chloe. So I would say let's either go back to the castle or if that's looking too dangerous, then go back to like, I don't know, the monastery or someplace that's pretty just like safe, public-y neutral i mean i think we should go back to yeah let's go to the monastery that sounds safe um we could at the very least read kiri's diary entries yeah, and try and figure idea. out like what her plan is or at least discover that she is not the drow we're looking for yeah. <laughs> um yeah as you guys head back um it's getting to it's starting to actually get a little dark um you get uh, to where the gate's in sight, and you see, A, the gate is open. Hmm. Uh -oh. B, um, there are a lot more, whereas previously you only saw, like, one person manning the gate. There is, there are a lot of people manning the gate now. Um, soldiers uh citizens uh advent like adventurers like this looks like a very kind of rallied defense uh and in fact as you're passing through um i mean like as you're kind of getting closer you see uh with the open gate um an ogre and a couple i uh, like you know, several orcs and uh goblins like a small swarm start pushing their way in uh and you hear uh, and you see another orc, um, but appears to be in and amongst the group in the city, turn and yell, Now! Um, and suddenly the gate just goes, and closes behind a bunch of them. And the organized force kind of comes in and comes in from all around the ones that had gotten through the gate and attacks. Um... This, this is huh. this is an actual fight going on. Also, outside the gate, uh, looks to be like an actual army now. This is a this this is this is this is escalated quickly. We really did not want to be involved in this. Um. Okay. I'm sorry. Are we inside the gate or outside the gate? I mean, you, you're you're. This is the city gate. So okay. you are inside the city. Okay. But the city gate is closed. It has now closed, yeah. Okay. Um, they, like, separated off a part of the Yeah, do, do you guys have... Would, I, would any of you guys... Would either of you guys have anything in way of military tactic knowledge? Uh, no, I have arcane and religion. That's all I have. I don't, I don't think so. No. <laughs> we uh, did not foresee needing that. Yeah. Um, this is... This is out of your... This is out of your depth. This is just like, um... Okay. Stuff's going on. Things are happening. Um, let's go to the library. Yep, let's go. Um, we still want to go there. I still want to, yeah, you know what? I can't fight perception. an army, but I can roll, maybe roll perception. stop a woman dying. i got to write this down. Perception is wisdom or intelligence? Uh, wisdom. Why should I do it? Why should I bother? <laughs> well, that's fine. Uh, Stellan rolled high. Um okay. Uh, Stellan, as you're going by, you do spot Dalton in with the militia that's fighting. Cool. Okay. Noted. 
Okay. Heading to the library. All right, you get, head past, you uh, get to the monastery, the gate's closed. I'm going to use knock. Can you? You have uh, enough I'm, left? She might. What Hang do on. I have? Azira, um, you got... Where's... Okay, so knock is a level two spell. You have three. This would be your last use of it. Um. For for the day. Um, and it's it's evening now. It's evening, yeah. But we could do. Uh, no, never mind. Huh. We can like rest when we're in the library, right? I mean, this is yeah. like. Let's yeah, just like. Hide out in the monastery if it's That's unlocked. what I want to do. Yeah, okay. So I should use knock. Yeah, sure. You okay. just cast knock and the, the gate just. We got to wrap up here anyway, so you might uh, as well yeah. go in. So um, we, uh, there we are a go couple, in. A couple startled monks inside who are like. Hi, hi. Friends of Elton. Sorry, friends hey, of Elton. Friends. Friends. We're doing some research about a threat to the, the Lord Amelia, so we're going to be in the library doing that. You, so. you, hear, you hear one of them turn to the other and be like, Dalton has some weird friends. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like it waves Poor you Dalton. through, um, and then they like they close the gate behind you guys, uh, and um, <clears throat> uh, for the sake of brevity, ballpark. What are you guys setting out to do over the next like couple days? Uh, uh, keep a low profile. Make sure no one steals our shit. Uh, make better friends with Chloe and help her out. Not and, really later upset the Thieves Guild. And but, find out as much as we can about Kiri to figure out what sure. she's planning, or e even just to eventually figure out that she's not planning anything. Right. Um, You don't find stuff very definitive on Kiri. Most of what you find is most of the books aren't about Kiri. They're about just kind of people. That right, but we get like a across. sense of her character. It would be great if we came more and more convinced that she was yeah. the one. Um, I mean, you the more you look, uh, she definitely has an interest in people, and you get the impression that she did not necessarily directly interact with all these people. She probably just kind of watched and wrote, which is weird. Um, you also uh, kind of get the impression. Uh, go ahead and make an investigation check. There you uh, go. That's plus four. Um, oh, plus four. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Azira, you... In some of the books farther back, some of the people she interacted with are significantly shadier. Not... Uh? Not... Um, like, whereas, like, here, you know, more recently she seems to kind of be doing this almost heroic tale. Uh, previously, <laughs> um, she seemed drawn to people who were a lot more uh, uh, angry or angsty or wanted to, like, leave their mark on the world and not really care about the cost. Um, and those were kind of the people she stayed with longer, farther back um <clears throat> so uh but there's also like 50 books <laughs> full of uh i think i think it's literally 53 books full of just people she's come across um and you kind of get a sense of her character from who she was writing about but she doesn't seem to have written herself into her books uh so it mostly seems to be you're kind of getting a weird sort of secondhand limited perspective on her. Um, uh, you also, while doing this, kind of pick up. She's a, I mean, as a, a inquisitor of the traveler, um, she's someone who kind of enjoys and perpetuates chaos, and you do get that feeling from some of the people she's taken kind of longer interests in in her books. Uh, for the most part, it seems like she doesn't stick with one group for terribly long. Um, but 
there are. So yeah, anyway. Um, okay, I want to relay all this to Stellan, obviously. Because yeah. I didn't roll very well. Yeah. So, it's okay, I got you, babe. Yeah. Um, then brave, beyond brave, that... Brave, 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 so Stellan. <laughs> <laughs> when Danger reared its ugly head, he quickly turned his tail and bled. <laughs> I didn't. Um, okay. Well, um, I mean, I think that's a good place yeah, to wrap this is, up. This is uh, a good <laughs> wrapping up point. Uh, we also want to rest while we're in there. Oh yeah, no. This like yeah, like well, I, I said, I asked about like, the next for it a few days in time, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, essentially, there's a chance that Stellan and Azria will be crossing paths with the group today, which is why I'm kind of trying to do the couple day jump to catch up. So we'll see. Um, I'm so <laughs> excited. They're, they're they're probably trying to like dial back on the con with Anthony and make fewer and fewer promises and just say like we'll see what the spirits say like if they ever interact oh, with it. Hey. Yeah. Fun fact. No, that would be something you'd learn during today's session probably. So. Okay. So I'll, so I'll hold on to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway. Well. Okay. Well, like my question is, should Rachel and I prepare to? play two characters during this session in case that like is that a possibility of happening that like is, should i be prepared that's a to very be... real possibility yes okay i just needed to know that so i know how many character sheets to have open yeah yeah awesome okay. Okay. yay bye internet bye internet <laughs>